Christmas is all about the birth of a baby. According to most sources, somewhere around 133 million babies will be born around the world this year. That's almost 253 babies born every minute. Four babies born every second. Babies are born all the time. So why do we focus on the birth of this particular baby? Somewhere around 6 BC, in a tiny Palestinian village, a young woman, probably only barely in her teens, gave birth to a baby boy named Jesus. And yet, this was no ordinary baby. His birth had been foretold by prophets and angels. His mother was a virgin. The child's conception was the result of a supernatural act of God. This was no ordinary baby. This baby was quite literally the Son of God. In fact, the Bible teaches us that in some amazing, mysterious way, this baby was God himself come in human form. Please take your Bibles and turn with me to the Gospel of John, chapter 1. The Gospel of John, chapter 1, page 750, and the Bible's provided in the pews. The Gospel of John, first chapter, beginning in the first verse, we read this. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him, all things were made. Without him, nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, but the darkness has not understood it. There came a man who was sent from God. His name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning that light, so that through him all men might believe. He himself was not the light. He came only as a witness to the light. The true light that gives light to every man was coming into the world. He was in the world. And though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who received him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God, children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision, or a, or a husband's will, but born of God. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. The one through whom the universe was created chose to become part of his own creation. Almighty God came down from on high. God had visited humans before in many times and in many different ways. For example, when God came down to Moses and the Israelites on Mount Sinai and gave them the Ten Commandments and the rest of God's law, His appearance then was a powerful, even terrifying display. As we read an account of that uh, situation in Exodus chapter 20, we read this, When the people heard the thunder and the loud blast of the ram's horn, and when they saw the flashes of lightning, and the smoke billowing from the mountain, they stood at a distance, trembling with fear. And they said to Moses, You speak to us, and we will listen. But don't let God directly speak to us, or we will die. In that day, the ancient Israelites begged to not have to draw near to God. They were scared to death. But in Bethlehem, God came wrapped the soft skin of a newborn, a baby. 
what could be less intimidating than a baby? Unless, of course, you're about to become the parent of one. I would imagine that a baby could be very intimidating in that case. But God came as a baby, softly, gently. He came to live among us as one of us. The angel said that he would also be known as Emmanuel. 